Hey there, Tano. I'm Shadow Sight, and today we're going to be taking a look Operator, at Hydroid Revisited. Now, this is pretty much going to be another locked and loaded. However, I'm going to warn you guys now, the build you will see at the end of the video is not an optimized build. It's just something that I threw together to mess around with uh, the rework. Because... I never put too much effort into Hydroid just because of the fact that his abilities were so bad before they updated him that it's to the point that it's kind of just pathetic. Well, the effort that I put into him is just pathetic. I mean, he's a lot better now and with what I've messed around with, with the rework, I really enjoyed. So let me fire up a Syndicate Exterminate and... Let's show you this shit. Go. That's the first ability. New Kraken with his fourth ability. Absolutely freaking amazing. Oh, and as you can see right now, it's kind of also slamming around a guy that I swallowed up with Undertow. That would be because of the fact that any enemy that falls victim to Undertow now can be affected by Hydroid's first and fourth abilities. And as you just saw, you can use Tidal Surge while in Undertow to kind of rapidly move yourself. Of course... Well, of course you're burning through energy. The other thing is you can kind of do a more um, refined movement at a much slower pace while in Undertow. However, you do burn through your energy about twice as fast. Let me let my energy build back up a little bit. You've been seen. One of the other things that was really cool with his rework is that his first and fourth abilities can now be held for to basically generate a longer. I don't know. Don't know if it would be a, considered a longer duration or just a larger uh, area. Like as you can see there, it's kind of just larger explosions. And that is just a nightmare because I charged the ability rather than just quickly cast it. So yes, essentially that is one of the cool things you can do now. Oh, and then one of the best parts, let me drop this really quick. Let that go off one more time. Come on. There we go. Come here. While in Undertow, you can look at enemies, click, and pull them in. That is by far one of my favorite things with the new Undertow. I mean, his rework is so dumb, it's funny. And I'm sorry about this video being so late, I've just had a lot of shit going on. Because originally I was planning on going to camp with my family this weekend, but I had some personal shit that came up that 
that's no longer happening. However, the Sunday stream will remain rescheduled for Monday. Just because I get the feel, I have a very strong feeling that for the most part, Sunday, I'm just going to be an emotional wreck. And I'd rather not have that ruin the stream experience. Get in here! I mean, it's beyond dumb that I can do this stuff. Plus, it makes it really hard for them to do anything to try to stop me. Like, right at this point, about a null... Pretty much a nullifier would be the only thing. I mean, yeah, it's kind of boring just to sit here as a puddle. But look at those water effects, man. Now, so far, they've pretty much removed any, uh... Bit, like, any of your energy effects from both his 4 and 3. Like, about the only way you're gonna see any sort of energy effect is you have to look at the Kraken head. And, like, where the eyes and everything are, th that'll glow your en as your energy color. But other than that, really nothing else does. His first ability still shows it, and you can kind of see it with uh, with uh, Tidal Surge. But it's pretty much non-existent on... Well, it very much is non-existent on Undertow, and it's almost non-existent on his... Uh... Well done. Now get to extraction. What is it called? Tentacle Swarm. Now, honestly, I would have been... I think... They are, do still have some changes in the works. Just the, like, well, minor changes and improvements that they've been working on. So it's very possible we might get the energy, like... A slight energy visual back with Undertow, like what we have with uh, Tidal Surge. And it's possible we might see, like, some semi transparent changes to the tendrils of the Kraken itself. And even, like, a possible slight energy tint to those as well. But as far as those last two things that I just said, that's purely my speculation and what I would like to see. That doesn't necessarily mean that DE's gonna do it. But all in all, I'd have to... I give them props for Hydroid's rework, because he was probably my least used frame. And when I say least used, I mean I used Limbo more than I used this guy. And I hated Limbo before his rework. So yeah, I really like the changes that they made. They also made some changes to his armor and health where they got massive buffs. Because before I want to say his health was going to his health capped at like around 800, maybe a little bit lower with the same mods that I have equipped. Oh, and this was the build that I was using just to screw around right like I said, it's not optimized, so don't go reading me the Riot Act about it. This was just what I threw together to screw around with the rework and see the changes that they made. And then his armor used to be at 65, and it got jumped up to 200. Anyway, as far as everything, 
range 10 meters, explosion radius 7.25, 7.25 seconds, 435 damage, tidal surge 8.7 meters, 435 damage, with at a speed of 43.5. Everything in orders? Range 4.82 meters, mm. damage 36.25. Damage increase per second, 36.25. Grab range, 21.75. Grab energy, 3.5. Oh, okay. I didn't know that it consumed energy to reach out and grab enemies. That's good to know. That's good to know. So I'm going to have to be a little more careful with that. Especially since they fixed it where y you could benefit from uh, Trinity's energy vampire. Because that wasn't intended with... Because Undertow is a channeled ability. And the only channeled ability that they pretty much have it so that you can benefit from Energy Vampire. With the exception of, like, Ivara's Artemis Bow because of the fact that it costs energy to summon it. And then the energy consumed is per shot. Not per second like other exalted weapons and then chroma's uh effigy is about the only true channeled ability that benefits from energy vampire and then rain 7.5 meters 10 tentacles damage 290 duration 29 seconds Pretty much, I will improve upon the build as I do some trial and error and find what works for me the best. After which, I will give you guys another video on them, showing off the optimized build that I came up with. Or that I have discovered or been given that I just happen to really enjoy. So that's really it for... Uh, this video I was kind of hoping to do a um, in the know but it doesn't seem like there was a dev stream today which means it was probably like a holiday or something for DE who knows but thank you guys again so much for tuning in um, as always, if you like this video for whatever reason, hit that like button and subscribe. If not, check out some of the other videos on my channel. I'm sure there's going to be something you're really going to enjoy. Be sure to check me out on Twitter and Player.me for all news related to YouTube, Stream, and IRL. As well as if you guys would like to support the channel in any way, shape, or form, be sure to check out my Game Wisp link in the description box below. Any support you guys give is greatly supported, How it, well, greatly, not greatly supported, greatly appreciated. However, it is not required. That is the biggest thing about that is I never want you guys to feel pressured into that. And if you guys think that su subscribing to me on Game Whisk is going to improve your chances of getting shit... All of the stuff that I have to possibly give away is stuff that I have farmed in the game on my own. Or just like extra codes and stuff that I have from Founders Access from other games. That will be done exclusively on giveaways on Twitch. As well as I do not have a glyph in the game, nor do I get any sort of codes from digital extremes because I'm not a partner. That is that is the biggest thing right there is that that status mark is not me. However, that is something that I hope to one day be able to push for. So that is why it just absolutely amazes me every time that I see this channel grow. So once again, guys, thank you so much. And until next time, Tano, stick to the shadows.